Um, but we moved to Africa, to Zambia, when I was 15. My father uh, got a job making documentary films about life in Africa. Um, he was away on location a lot of the time. I learned later on that he had this secret life and location meant he was basically away doing other things. I never knew that at the time. But my first inkling of it was when we moved from Zambia to Swaziland um, in the family's board Isabella Combi. Um, in South Africa, we were going around a long bend and he stopped the car at the end of the bend and asked me to go out and walk back around the bend and go to the car that I would find parked there and say to them, could you give us directions, please? So I walked back around the bend and there was a car parked there and I went up to the car and there were two very large early Africana men there and I uh, went up to the driver who appeared to be reading a newspaper spread out over the steering wheel, but the newspaper was upside down. So he wasn't really reading the newspaper, was he? Um, so right from that point on, we drove in a convoy. I think there was no, no point pretending anymore. My dad knew they were there. They knew my dad was there. But like you ask yourself, how did my dad know that we were being followed by the South African secret police? So things started to click into place a bit more there. Um, I would say I never asked my dad why. He never told me why. There was one occasion when I dreamed him saying to me completely out of the blue, apparently to me, um, if you're doing something a bit dodgy, never tell the other person anything at all. If you have to tell them, only ever tell them enough that they need to know to carry out the task that you want them to carry out. So, all right, I, I understood behind it all. I never asked him, he never told me. Uh, 1969, we moved back to England again. 1979, my dad died. 2012, I went to see my mum who was living in Australia. I wasn't a good son. I hadn't seen her for 30 years. We wrote to each other, but I hadn't seen her. I went to see her. That first night, we sat up all night chatting away, and, and she explained lots of things to me about my past, one of which was, my dad had been a British secret agent all his working life. During the war, he was dropped behind the lines in Yugoslavia to set up resistance movement behind the lines inside Yugoslavia. And when he left the army from then on, he was used as a British agent, uh, which I'd never known. So 2012, my dad's secret life fell into place and I understood it all. He was already dead by then. And there was so much about his life that I never knew. We were very close, but there was so much I never knew. But I do think back to those amazing days and just think if he had given me more about it, if I had joined in more, just how my life would have been different. I, I reject secrets. I don't like secrets, probably because I grew up with secrets and I grew up with my dad never being there but I don't live that way at all. So that's really my relationship with my dad. We were very close in the later years and there's so much about him that I never knew. And anything about me you want to know, you have only to ask. 